Hey everybody and welcome to part 3 of Super Mario World. So I did find out that there is a secret exit in Donut Ghost House as I said in the comment section or the description below of part 2. Now would it actually recommend... Ooh, damn it. That, uh, that went really bad, guys. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Without falling off a cliff because Luigi is a boob like that. Well, whoa. Now, it should be up here. Oh, my. Like, honestly. How are you supposed to know that an evil boo is going to come out and destroy your face. Like booze. Booze, please screw off. No one wants you. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Nobody likes you. I've come for the free one-ups. No! My cape! Oh, and, um, apparently if the, li the lives go off screen, we don't get to collect them, so, boo-hoo. Either way, we did manage to beat it, so that is the secret exit there. I believe this takes us to a level known I that's known as Top Secret. I really hope I'm right on that, and Top Secret Area, yes. So, we'll just click save and continue, and go. We're in the hills. Now this is an area you want to come to if you guys want, I believe, Yoshi's power-ups, well, Yoshi's and power-ups. You get a feather, you get two feathers, two uh, fire flowers, unless you have, um, unless you're just little Mario, then you don't get either, but you guys see how that went. So anyways, we have Vanilla Dome 1, which does have a secret exit, so let's go. I'm kind of bummed out that this series gets copyrighted by Nintendo, and we don't really have enough subscribers to really do much for, like, the, I guess, subscriber, uh, program that they have with, uh, view or with us YouTubers. God damn it. Um, let me just get rid of that for a second here. We'll spin jump with Yoshi. Go through with Yoshi like that, cause we be the boss of of all of the land. Um, hmm. it's one of those secret exits that I always. Um. Okay. Man, that uh, that uh, did not go over well. Oh wait. So. Actually, what my plan is, I'm going to destroy these. And then I'm going to... Fly! Damn it. Nah, it looks like we're going to need the, the red switch. And until we get the red switch, I don't think that'll be easy. Like, like it is possible to do without the red switch. Oh, you can see Blarg's down there. Eyeing us up as if we're some kind of dinner. And, hey, we just ground pounded and killed everybody. And sometimes being able to fly does kind of backfire at certain points. Oh, when? We're only at the halfway point? Seriously? Well, okay. I believe you could do it with the whole blue Yoshi, though. Like, with the blue shell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, god damn it. Let me grab my fire flower, because I believe this will probably have a backup. Yep, it has a backup. How did I manage that? Taking all these dumb hits from, like, stupid little enemies that no one normally would take hits on. Um, okay, random blue shell. Don't mind if I do. And there we go. We beat the level. So we'll come back here with the red switch, or if I decide to go back and get a Yoshi here. Some kind of shenanigan schnaz it like that. Wait, actually, I believe the red switch is in here. So this is Vanilla Dome 2. Or is it the blue switch? But anyways, there is a secret exit. And you can actually... Fudge me. 
you can actually uh, just run into that cheap cheap that was above the water and kill it because it's out of water cheap cheeps if they're not jumping out of the water and not swimming then they're uh, pretty much vulnerable though I believe you only see one cheap cheap like that in the entirety of the universe <laughs> now okay so I know where the secret exit is you remember those uh, blocks that we need a p-switch for well that's exactly where we need to go um, hmm. There's lots of shenanigans why, why do I keep saying shenanigans? Those are a lot of blocks up there. Oh, back of Firefly, don't mind if I do. Eh, I'll go back for you later. Ooh, yeah, another one. Oh. Don't pick it up again. I don't believe it's that one. Uh, actually... No. Oh! We barely made it in, and why is there one of the coins in here? Don't you find it funny that to get all the coins, you'd have to come through the secret exit area? And why is there a trampoline? Well, I guess it's to get back out if you came down here for nothing. Anyways, there's the Red Switch Palace. So, for this one, we just have to let the shell do all the work. Wait, what? Oh. Man. Ah! <laughs> he gave us a one up anyway. Because he jumped right into that shell. Oh yeah. Burn. And there we go, guys. We now have the red switch palace activated, which means we can go back and get that secret exit. Pretty awesome, eh? I know it doesn't do that because we're not in the level, but still. And save can continue. Anyways, let's go back and get the secret exit here. And then we'll go back and do the normal exit on that other level. Might as well finish off the level that we technically started first. Um, I don't know how I managed to kill him, but I managed to kill him like he was nothing. Uh, can you hurry up? I don't like you. Oh man, it's actually not what I meant to do. Though, actually, with the ability to spin jump, we should be able to break through most of this. Oh. I think I actually kind of need you. You know, that's actually really hard to get through if you don't have, uh... That air if you kill off the shell. Though I'm pretty sure you can't. It will eventually come back, but could you imagine? No, could you imagine if you're Yoshi and you ate it? I don't think there's any way through there. Apparently Vanilla Secret 1 also has a secret exit, so we'll go back and finish off Vanilla Dome 2. Our Aqueous Cave level. Okay. Why did you... Man, our no gravity with Luigi here, with our low gravity and weird slip mechanics, it kind of screws us over. Okay, that I did not even touch that. I know it was like a hair, but come on, man. I did not touch you. That's what she said. Oh. I don't know what I was getting at. That wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. Yeah, those are just coins. Never mind. You fish, hurry up. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you and all your friends. Om and om and om and om and om. Oh, hey, charging check. Yeah, they can also charge through blocks like that. Believe you can... Ooh. Damn it, I didn't want the mushroom. Actually, I wanted to slide down there too, but for some reason, the game wouldn't do that for me. Well, at least I got a backup fire flower. The level's actually not that long. Actually, there's very few levels in Super Mario World that are actually long. Like, it's not like the hacks that are always made where... A lot of the time, you know, levels will be longer than they were in the original game. No, not so much here. Whew. We have 48 lives in World 3. Now this we can go to the Vanilla Ghost House, which, once again, I'm not entirely sure if there's a secret exit here, but I believe... Oh no, it's the introduction to Eeries. And Boo Carousels! Woo woo woo! I am so not getting that coin. I guess I could go back and get it, but 
I really don't feel like lives are necessarily that big of an issue at this point in time. I like how we can literally just, if we're about to die, click save and exit and be fine. Be like, oh, oh, we were about to die. Nope, not so much now. Actually, you know what? Okay, big, not your, there, is that? You know, if the boss is considered Big Boo, like, you know, like the, the ghost boss is Big Boo, then... What do you call these guys? Bigger Boos? Chunky Boo? Ooh, what's that? Vine! I don't know if there's a secret in here. Nah, I think, yeah, it was just for that, right? How the hell did I manage to jump into the one Eerie that was up here? I know no one likes Eeries, but come on. I thought this was where we got introduced to the bubbles. Or at least I think they're bubbles. Are you guys bubbles? Please inform me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, god damn it. I couldn't duck. Luigi takes so long to actually touch the ground. So it means you can't duck right away. Oh man. Can you guys, like, screw off for like two seconds? Wait, a P switch? What's the P switch for? Oh, I bet you. Ah, yes. I think that's just the regular exit. I don't know if there's a secret exit. Like I said before, like... I have not played this game in, what, at least three years? Now with that, we just have a regular exit. Vanilla Dome 3. So, let's go. Yeah, so as you guys can clearly tell, Vanilla Dome is the cave world, and oh, looks like we have lava and blargs. Darn it, I wanted the power up that was probably in there, but eh, so much for that, eh? Oh, never mind, that's a power up. I want that, because fire flowers are amazing for dealing with pea plants. Oh, snap. And no, your fire cannot destroy blargs, hence, well, they're lava creatures, so hence them not being killed by fire flowers. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Sometimes this flutter jump makes it really easy to deal with things, though, like all the jumping. You can almost make it up there without hitting this castle block, which is the name Mario players give blocks that are invisible. And, whoa, is that a random cape? Just, just a random cape, guys. I know capes can still not defeat Blarks. I believe the only thing that can is invincibility. But in the in the actual original game here, there aren't very many uh, instances where you get that. Well, actually, technically, I don't think there's any. Only ROM hacks you'll have a chance of having that. Whoa! Is there seriously nothing in any of these pipes? Anything? Nothing? Wow! It's more empty than my bank account. Oh! It's an insult to myself. Oh, what a sad life I have. What a sad web I weave. Ooh, ice cave. Well, guess what? I already slipped like it's ice anyway. I don't really think ice physics really affect Luigi too much because that's how his life is. Eh, I don't need two capes. I don't need two capes. Leave me alone. Woohoo! Oh. We're only halfway? Oh, yay. Alright. Screw you. Yeah, red blocks don't give you anything. Don't think they give you fire flowers or anything like that, because they don't. They're un... I guess... You don't really break switch blocks. You just, you know, like, hit them and then they pop out an item. So, I don't know what you'd really call it. You know, is it, like, technically... Just hitting, like, a, a switch? Like, hitting a block? I don't know. All I know is it doesn't give you an item. That's what I'm trying to get at, but... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I like how you stay on screen, but my one-ups did... Oh, come on, man. That was just a royal dick butt kiss move right there. Uh, can you, uh, spine, uh, spike tops, please go? I like how, like, the spike stands out more than the rest of them, eh? It's like, it's like a black border around the spike. And, you know what? Can I bring one of you guys to the ending? Or, never mind. Don't really need one of you. Oh, never mind. The ending's not even here anyway. This level's actually fairly long. Not that I'm complaining. I don't mind longer levels, but still. And there we go! 
We beat the lava snake level, and I have a text message. Oh yeah, my girlfriend just like she wants my cat as her buddy. I don't know why. But anyways, let's go to Vanilla Dome 4. Which is uh, a weird cave. Okay, bullet bills. I already don't like you and you're already going to be an issue in this level. Are you kidding me? Luigi, you couldn't have missed time that jump any worse. Yeah, at least we got a 1-up bringing us to a total of 50 lives. 50 lives. Whoa. Like his... This flutter jump is almost screwing me over every time. Wait, it was a feather? Oh, sweet. Woohoo! There wasn't a life here, was there? Or a life? I mean, a, um. Um, 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 um. A secret exit. This was just a one exit level, right? I swear this level technically had a secret exit. Maybe it's just a lot of ROM hacks design levels identical to this, and they have uh, secret exits. There we go. I'd rather the cape for this level. No. I want that one up, thank you. I deserve the one up from for all the hell I've been through. Uh oh. Four way bullet bills. It's not the sexual kind of four way either. Okay, well, at least we recovered from that. At least we recovered. That's all I'm gonna say right now. Woo! Heavens! Well, at least now we can go to Lemmy's Castle. Castle number three. Let's go. Ah, oh, great. Magic Koopas. So yeah, you want them to create the gap for you, that way you can, you know, not have to spin jump and fall into lava and die. Okay. Please don't hurt me and then, like, just make me lose what I just gained. Oh. There we go, we made it in just in time. Oh wait, yeah, this is the level where you can actually miss the checkpoint. The checkpoint isn't actually just going your regular pathway. It's off to the side like it was there. And, uh, yeah. Impatience, yes. Our impatience paid off. For once in our miserable lives, we didn't actually have to wait. Oh. Thank you, Luigi, for being pretty darn skilled at all of this. Thank you. Pretty sh Ooh. Like, I'm pretty sure I missed one or two dragon coins, but... Eh. Please let me out of there. Woohoo! Oh, this one doesn't crash? Oh, yeah, no. Oh! I almost got pinched in there, and I don't want to be pinched. Not by giant, uh, crushy blocks. Poor dry bones. The only way to defeat them is with invincibility or capes, and we are defeating them by sending pl sending them plummeting into the lava below. Burn in hell! Burn in hell! Do you guys like my American accent? Oh, there's one down there. Anyways, I don't remember how this boss plays out, so we'll use the fire flower. Oh, never mind. It's this guy. We just jump on him. Jump on the right one. It's funny how he goes brown. It doesn't even sound like that would be his voice. Because, like, in, in everything else, he has such a whiny voice. Wait, how did that work? How did that work, man? And there we go. Three hits is all it takes. Oh, did you hear that? It was like Godzilla sound effects. Like, holy potatoes. Yes, we got the cave egg. And it's the yellow one. Ha, we got a hammer. Mario and Luigi have triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of Castle Number 3. Their quest is getting more and more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? As a matter of fact, guys, I didn't. Hang on a second, I just realized I have a weird border. Yeah. Hang on. 
There we go. Fix the border issues. I, I don't know what was going on there. Anyways, we can now go do the secret pathway. I'll probably do the secret level and then end it off. Because this video is already getting lengthy and honestly, I don't have a lot of time to record, guys. I'm literally recording this right before I have to go see a movie. I'm assuming my girlfriend picked us out Logan. But I'm not 100% sure. Because Logan will be busy today since it's Friday, literally the day after it came out. So a lot of people would go to see it. And my girlfriend seems very persistent on going there and picking up our stuff before I get there. So... Yeah, there was a good chance that it's Logan. Ow, man. How the hell did I manage to hit you? How the hell did I manage to hit you, you as well? Just what I need. If you want to climb with the shell, just throw it up and push up while climbing. I don't think the game ever actually tells you that. Uh-oh. There we go. That was beautiful. Thank you, Lord Shellius. Oh my god. He sucks at jumping on these P platforms. I call them P platforms from now on. I'm gonna bring this red shell with me through this pipe. It's just it's just a pipe dream, man. Ah, football! There we go. I believe that's the regular exit. Thank you for the mushroom power-up. Absolutely delish. Time to go get high on some shrooms. Yeah, that just brings us there. So anyways, let's go back and find the secret exit. Um, let's try going over this way. Nothing. Okay, nothing there. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with like a... Like a P-switch or something or other. Okay, I'm pretty darn sure it is. Okay, that's the vine. And then there's that over there. Whoa. See, it seems like there would just be like a... How the hell do I manage to get hit by you every goddamn time? Now I'm going to be packing your shell around for the rest of the level again. Wait, why are there... There's a... Bunch of blue switch blocks right there. Hmm. Intriguing. Unless... Thank you for my shell. Thank you for back. Ah, oh. Hang on. Wait a minute. Unless... Hang on. Before we bring it down any further, let's go over here and see if we need it for anything. Wait a minute. If that's the way you have to go up, then what's this way? Oh wait, you can use it to get a Yoshi coin over there. Okay. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with one of these pipes. Okay, nothing here. So, with that, let's, let's ditch this. Go back down here. Wait, there it is! Can you stop falling, Luigi? Thank you, man. Ay ay ay. Okay. We need to hit that. Which probably means I put it in the wrong spot, like I always do. No! Why did you drop it all the way down there? Yeah, I get it. I'm running low on time. This level doesn't have very much of a time limit. Oh. Oh, come on, Luigi! No, no! I don't think you can do this without the blue switch. Or at least... You know... Not... Maybe with a cape. Okay, let's, um... Wait, how do I just... Um... Okay, I guess we'll just do that, but... 
That's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was I just wanted to go and get a cape. How hard is it to go and get a cape? Thank you very much. Then we gotta go to the top secret area. Because I have an idea on how to get it. And I'm gonna need two capes, just, you know, as backup, because I always seem to hit those Koopas. Okay, I, I tried, but it didn't work, so. <laughs> okay, so we'll just... We'll just play through the level as normally, you know, just kill off everything as Koopa shells this time, instead of strategically taking them on. Actually, it's probably more strategic to kill them the way I am than to kill them any other way, but... Aha! Fool! Okay. Well, we made it through that, so... Okay. Now we just need to continue up. Oh my god, Luigi. Thank you. Wait, what? How did I manage to miss... Oh, wait. It wasn't up here. It was before these god darn Koopas. You know these ones right here? Okay, well, maybe if I put her... Okay, so apparently you can't jump underneath the trampoline. You have to jump up a... up above it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you... Why do you keep grabbing it, Luigi? There we go! See, I didn't need, need any blue blocks for anything like this. Jeez Louise! And that's how we do it, guys. Yeah. And that brings us to Star Road. To Star Road Level 1. Oh, actually Level 2. We won't be going to that yet. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.